So one of the last things we'll really look at is when we're looking at the micronutrients and the macronutrients that we're using for a crop, we were doing tissue samples for years and we would apply what our test was saying to, to put on there. And we kept coming up maybe right at adequate. Um, so most of the time it was a little bit below. But if you look at these extractants, one of the things that really showed off for us and, and kind of was a proving fact is looking at boron. Um, we started paying attention to boron. And if you look at this farm, boron was showing up at 0.33 pounds on a conventional Melick test. Um, we started looking, uh, working with Regen Ag Labs and one of the things that we liked from the laboratory is they do a hot water extraction. Um, essentially it's water goes in the ground, it gets heated up, and that's you know one of the ways that we're seeing release. And the biggest thing that we started seeing with the hot water extraction is on a hot water extraction, we were actually only seeing about 0.16 on boron. Now, we started doing check strips about two years ago where we would apply a quarter of a pound based on the meal, the conventional test, and then we would apply half a pound based on the hot water extraction. And that was the very first time that we were actually seeing full season that we were maintaining adequate boron levels by using this hot water extraction method. Um, then we started looking at molybdenum and, and other factors that we could also do these hot water extractions with. It cost us about four bucks a test for us to do this test. Um, but where we were putting on, say, two more dollars an acre in boron and paying for a four dollar test, it was translating into anywhere from about four to six bushel in beans. So that's making us additional 40 to 60 dollars an acre where we're spending six to get it. So we're, we're typically seeing an eight to 10X investment, return on investment, um, by looking at these different extraction methods and really trying to hone in what is actually gonna be available to that plant. I farmed for eight years before we did that, and that was the first time I ever had soybeans actually achieve 60 pounds per bushel. Most years we were getting like 52, 54, 56 pound uh, bushel soybeans. And when we started doing these hot water extractions, that's the first time we started getting close that's and hitting those 60 pound, that 60 pound mark. So if you look at the ground while we're walking, uh -huh. you'll see, you'll see that lithos carbon that we put out here. Okay. So I mean like, so you've got bare ground here and you've got like a little dusting on top here. We put 12 tons to the acre here. So that just shows you how fine of a product that we're applying I think it was 92% of this product passes through a hundred sieve. And um, having a product that has been screened and sifted and a high quality product that'll, that'll be carried into the ground is, is really critical for us adjusting some of these, these deficiencies and, and changing our pH with this product.